guys so i'm going to introduce this video because last time i recorded it, i looked an entire mess so this video is basically me going through with you guys on doing my husband's hair how i do it and what i use and just stuff like that really the video speaks for itself so i really don't have to say anything else so let's jump right into it first things first I'm going to be doing his hair. So I have never tried this before on me or anybody else, but I'm going to. And I'm going to use the shit out of it. I'm going to try it on his hairs first. It is the Fresh Greens Blend 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. Usually people don't like those things, but like if I want to eliminate a step and have like a more milder, more hydrating shampoo, that's what I'm going for. And plus, I don't really find it always necessary to put in conditioner if I'm going to slather it in oil, which we have here, which has been the goat for a minute. Jamaican Mango and Lime Island Oil. We've been using this for a while. We fucking love it. And this locking gel is the best. I've tried their wax. Their wax is better on like twists and hair that is already out. I've tried it on his dreads. It doesn't look bad in the back. When it gets to the top, it just doesn't... I don't know. When I did it, I didn't pull it as taut, so it wasn't as good. Um, next, we have this. Never tried this before either, but I've had it because I bought a little kit. This is uh, Burt's Bees. I'm going to use it to wash his face because I have my own wash. Beard wash. We've tried this before. We like it. And I don't have a beard conditioner because, well, we have a beard oil, which I didn't put here. Please hold. All right, bam. Like, it never was not there. And we use this. It's almost out, honestly. Um, but it's been doing us good. It smells really nice. So we're going to put that on. And then this Vaseline, I... When I go in with this razor right here that I got from Amazon... And um, I'm just going to use this to basically make a guideline. Oh, this is gross. Okay, so ignore this. We're not going to use that. I'm going to get a fresh one. And uh, I'm going to use these hair scissors for trimming his beard. I'm going to do this. Just because he hasn't done one in a while. A, a pore strip. Put it on his nose after I wash it. And while I do his beard. So this is going to be the plan. Ignore that one thing that I didn't check before I brought it down. I might not even use it. I might just go straight in with this. Uh, very gently on his skin and then I got my towel for when I dry his hair and this for when I Like rinse his face off and stuff nice Remember it I added in this spray bottle of water it was in the room, but it wasn't included So now it is included in all my stuff because we're gonna wet the beard to try and make it more tame as we uh, Brush and comb through it also. There's a wooden comb around here and a beard brush somewhere I can't find them, but I will get them before I end up doing his hair. I promise Ignore the very violent and weird looking anime in the background, if you can see it. But I separated the crown, and then the back of the head, I divided it in halves, and I'm going to start from the bottom, work my way up. I'm not really going to be recording this because, well, frankly, just keep working your way up, and then when you get to the crown, work to the center. And that's all I got for you, because this is not really a tutorial. This is just me showing you what Love I do. Love is fire. Finish this section. Gonna move on to this side. We're past the halfway point now. Finish retwisting, and we'll see you tomorrow the finished product, and then I will move on to the beard. All right. So I have pinned his hair back in the front and put a headband on to keep his hair out of the way. I'm going to comb it through, wash it, and his face and then get to trimming and shaping.